you talk about Memphis and really how what challenge they possess. It always seems like when you two new programs meet, there's like a higher intensity within the games every time y'all meet. Uh, you know, they've always been a good program. It's always a battle between us, um, more of like a robbery game. And it's really just about who wants it more. You know, we always go back and forth. Uh, they beat us twice last year, and we got our revenge back in a uh, conference tournament. So, you know, it's always a challenge going against Memphis, you know, just bumping heads, and we just want to come out on top with the win. Uh, you mentioned the word like robbery, so those are some of the other players, but obviously, you know, in the past, you kind of mentioned Cincinnati robbery, SMU, but what is it about Memphis maybe that gives them a little bit more of you guys playing them? It's like, you know, a little more intense. Right? <clears throat> um, just how hard they play, and, um, we play as hard as well, too. So, you know, they match our intensity. We match theirs. And it's just, you know, who wants it more, really? Um, they always put up a fight against us. And, um, you know, we always try and do the same and make it as hard for them as possible, too. Yeah. Reggie mentioned that um, he called it a culture game. What does that mean? Our culture against their culture. You know, everything that we've been doing from day one and everything they've been doing since day one. And um, just how we play, you know, our integrity our uh, approach coming to the games and, you know, just how past teams, you know, been playing before. So the culture has always been here and, you know, just us to adjust to it. Joe, Joe one, the uh, last night Marcus and Jamal were telling us about just late game leads, you know, kind of that killer instinct. Does that get more important as March comes around that you don't, you know, when you have a big lead, you sort of. Oh, most definitely. Because, you know, when you get to March Madness, you know, if you lose that lead, you know, once you lose, you go home. It ain't no coming back from that. So, you know, just trying to, you know, start early, you know, keep our leads right now. So, you know, when March Madness starts, you know, we're more, you know, comfortable with the situation and know how to move around it. Speaking of comfortable, that move uh, on a couple of those back-to-back -back buckets you had, and that that, that sort of the, the hook off the, off the – is that – seems like you're even more comfortable with that. I mean, is that something that – was that an off-season thing where you really put a lot of work into that, or has that always been the case? Yeah, and I just feel like, you know, just being more comfortable on the court, I just feel like I can just do way more than that, too. You know, um, back to the basket, you know, face up, drive, anything. Just me just being comfortable with the game, you know, I feel like I just do a lot more. Juwan, with you being the leading rebounder on the team, who would you say is like that number two on the team right now? From a rebounding standpoint? Mm. I'll say Jarris. Jarris? Yeah, right behind me. How come? You know, just because he goes and, uh, goes and get him. You know, 6'8", 240, big body frame. Um, and sometimes we, sometimes we sometimes have the most – he has more rebounds than me some games, or we have the same amount. So I would just say he the second one. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, since you've been here, what's been your uh, – if you can remember, what's been your favorite pair of, of Jordans you've got? Jordans? Do you have a uh, favorite pair? You talking about like hooping shoes yeah, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever you guys get as part of you know the, what you play in. Has there been one that's been a favorite more than the other? Something you've been I would excited say to get? Lucas, definitely now, mm -hmm. or the Westbrooks. No, so those some that you that you that y'all get. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they were saying sometimes you get them like a month before they come out. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Can y'all like ask for a specific shoes? Is it like custom or is it just like this is what we get? This is what we get. Put no request. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. Thanks, Joe.